Toby washed the dishes like he did every afternoon. Only this time, he'd be visited by none other than Mr. Tim. Can I help you? Who are you? Fancy a sandwich? I don't think so. It's a fancy sandwich. I'm not quite hungry. I really... Cilantro salad, sauce or soup from Cincinnati. Mr. Tim always liked words with lots of S's. How did you get in my garden? I live back here, Princess Bigfoot. You live in my garden? Do you live in Candyland? No. Ever wonder why Candy Castle's made out of ice cream instead of candy? Not really. Me neither, but now I really want to know what they're up to in there. Toby could barely keep up. Mr. Tim spoke a hundred miles an hour. What's your name? Mr. Tim. Tim? Tim. With an N. Tim. Mr. Mr. Tim. Mr. Master. Look, um, I really should get back to my dishes. How am I supposed to know if you're a man when you're washing dishes like a lady then? Heh, <laughs> think about it. Makes sense. Do I look like a lady? I'm indecisive. I'll get back to you on that. Mr. Tim raised his fists, ready for a duel. You want to fight me through the window? Come on, pretty boy. Let's get physical. I think you mean, let's get physical. After we get physical, boy, you're gonna need a physical, boy. I'm confused. How do you like this face? Do you want to take a picture send it to someone close? Not in proximity, but in relation. I don't know. It was at that moment when Mr. Tim heard something he could not believe. Do you hear that? What? It's an ice cream truck playing We Three Kings of Orient Har. Now, what kind of ice cream truck plays the worst Christmas song of all time? I'm not quite sure. I'll get me some of that ice cream, boy. And I'm gonna get me some of that ice cream, boy. 